Hello, hello, hello. I'm your spiritual transformational life coach, Patricia Booker, here with Kingdom Business. We are empowered. What we hear, we get to live and we get free. We know who we are. We elevate our minds and our spirits and raise and expand our consciousness to ultimately walk in our true divine purpose and power. And that is the truth of who God has created us to be. Kingdom people, thank you so much for viewing my videos. Thank you for all the likes, the subscribes, the shares. For all that you do to financially contribute to my channel and the seeds that you sow into me in my ministry. Thank you for the emails, Kingdom people. Thank you for all the testimonies and the um, inspirational stories that you have sent to me for my upcoming podcast show and for the subject matters that and topics that you sent for the radio talk show that's coming up as well. Thank you, Kingdom people. I really do appreciate you all so very much. Thank you. And so, kind of people, you know I have to remind you that we are, we are, we are. We are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers. And we most definitely are transformers. More than meets the eye, kingdom people. Yeah, we are, we are, we are. Kingdom people, we are. <laughs> So, kind of people, you already know what I'm here to do. And if you don't know now, you know. I am here to drop this, beat this, word, this message. <laughs> yeah, kind of people. So, kind of people, listen. Y'all know I got something for you. They want to ride your wave. But the wave is gone. <laughs> the wave is out of here, kind of people. They want to ride your wave, but the wave is gone. Now, can the people, let me explain. The wave ain't gone from you. It's just gone from them. In other words, it's over with, and they don't even know it. They still trying to ride your wave, and ain't no wave for them. Your wave then moved away from them. You all the way somewhere else. They see you right there, but don't understand any possibility of them jumping on your wave does not even exist. They want to ride your wave, kingdom people, but that wave is gone. And see, what happens sometimes is maybe things could have been different had they behaved and handled you differently. And because they didn't, and because the nature of what they did and how far they went with it, there's no way. There is just not, it's no coming back from it. You know, it has just been on my spirit. God had been revealing certain things to me concerning different people. You know, different people that I've known for years and some not so long, but just different situations. And God would just kind of, you know, have been bringing things to me. I'll say over the last month or so, something like that. Just bringing to my attention how certain people want to apologize or make things right with me and i it's a thing where because i can have nothing to do with them and don't want to have anything to do with them and i ain't, i'm not mad it's like i don't want their apology not in an angry way it's just i don't need it so i kind of tell god can they apologize to you and make it right with you because you know first of all Anybody that has ever mishandled me or done anything inappropriate is automatically forgiven. These days, they're automatically forgiven simply because I get people do what they do because of either where they are or that devil that influences them. And because they're human beings, they're subjected to that. But if you let the devil just take over you like that, especially, well, just period. For me, it's a thing of, it's not no coming back from that. Again, depending on how far people go. So I'm saying all that to say, I don't care to have anyone's apologies. Or especially people, again, that have repetitively done certain things. I understand people are human, but some things is, 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 is it goes deeper than just, I'm sorry. It's a thing of, I'm sorry because I just need to make things right with you because I still want to ride your wave. <laughs> Kingdom people, the wave is gone. 
they still want to they want to ride your wave but the wave is gone it's not a chance it's not a shot the best thing that these people do is to jump on god's wave and let god give them their own wave which is probably what they should have been doing anyway no one should be trying to jump on nobody's wave that's just the honest to god truth because god got a way for all of us everybody but you just have to be in relationship with god follow his instructions do the work and that's what happens some people don't want to do the work and i'm not talking about just physical work go to work get a job people will go to work they'll go to their job but internal work or higher level work doing things that take a little more to do because you have to be a little more responsible and it, it's work anything further than going to get a job and again doing the inner work dealing in other words facing your what they would call demons facing your issues dealing with yourself getting free what we do here getting healed delivered and free they don't want to do that they want to jump on somebody's way kingdom people they want to jump on your way but that wave is gone these kind of people are leeches these kind of people are parasites they don't they they're never satisfied these kind of people operate in the spirit of greed they always want 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 and they're never satisfied nothing is ever enough for them and that's why they resort to sometimes jumping on someone else's wave that look like they got something going on. And I didn't want to go into this, but it's on me. And I'm feeling led to say it. Many a times, these be the same people. Y'all already know them ones. They be trying to stop you, block you, abuse you, use you, control you. Those haters, those jealous of you that talk crazy about you, that try to get you all caught up in... Them same ones want to ride your wave, kingdom people. But the wave is gone. The wave don't exist for them. Proverbs 30 and 15 says, The horse leech had two daughters crying, give, give. There are three things that are never satisfied. Yea, four things say not. It is enough. Here the people, this speaks of people just never being satisfied. Y'all, gimme, 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 gimme. People that want to ride your wave. They give me, give me, give me, give me people. They want to take your stuff. They want your stuff. They trying to ride your wave here the people, but the wave is gone. For some of them, it never existed for them. For some, it's just gone. <laughs> they missed their shot. And not so much to ride your wave, but for you to help put them on, to put their stuff on, to help put them on. But... They went about things all the wrong way, and there's no coming back from it. And I just literally hurt, and they're mad at you. That's a whole nother, a whole nother message, a whole nother video. But people be mad at you for how they messed up with you. They be mad at you because they messed up with you. <laughs> anyway, came to people. Philippians 3 and 14 say, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called <sighs> me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Excuse me, I had to take a breath. <laughs> so, came to people, this is us. We have not even considered ourselves to have grabbed a hold of it. Of course, this is the Apostle Paul speaking, but we can identify and, re and we resonate with this because we too are still pressing forward for the mark the prize which is Jesus for the prize which his purpose what he has purpose for us where he's taking us to our destiny we don't consider ourselves to have taken hold of it which means God ooh, I said which means God hmm which means, God, we're still reaching for it. So I'll go with it. We're still reaching for it, kingdom people. 
that's part of why the wave is gone. You know why I came to people? Because we steadily on the move. We're steadily pressing forward. We steadily pushing in. We, we keep moving. We keep moving. We always constantly in motion. We keep up with God. That cloud, I'm reminded of the cloud that the um the people, was it the children of Israel that followed? Yeah, that followed the cloud by night. I think it was the children of Israel. I could be wrong about that. You know, followed the cloud by day and the fire by night. In other words, what I'm saying is we let God lead us to where he's taking us to. So we have not completely taken hold of it. We won't ever completely take hold of it as long as we on this earth. And that's why kingdom people, the wave is gone because we gone. We not even where we were last week. They trying to jump on the wave that don't even exist no more. We got a whole new wave. The wave that they could have jumped on if it was for them to do so. It's transformed into something. It's a new wave. It's a shift that didn't take in place. Some of these people still be stuck on the past. Woulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda. And it's over. It's over. They want to jump on your wave. And the wave is gone, King of People. Because you on to the... Yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying. King of People. For that reason... <laughs> I'm going to let that rest right there. If you like this video and know if it resonates with you, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And if you haven't, what's up? What's up? What's up? Click on that bell right next to that red subscribe button so that you can get a notification every time I upload another video. Something like this one, Kingdom People. Also, if you are interested in any of the services that I presently offer, you can find all that information right down below in the description box. If you would like to financially contribute to my channel and also a seed into me and my ministry, please go ahead and feel free to cash out me at dollar sign L Booker. That is dollar sign capital L capital B O O K E R and the number one. Sometimes I forget that number one. It's dollar sign. Capital L, capital B, O O K E R, number one. PayPal is paypal.me slash Latricia Booker. Also, Kingdom People, please continue to send in those inspirational stories for my upcoming podcast show and also those topics and subject matters that are for the upcoming radio talk show. And so, yeah, I believe that is it. And I have to remind you before I go that we are, we are, we are, we are history makers. We are world changers. We are dream successors. We are wealth generators. We are manifestors. We are curse breakers. And we are, we are transformers more than meets the eye. Yeah, kingdom people. We are, we are, we are. Kingdom people, I love you all so very much. I really appreciate you being here with me, spending this time with me. And with that being said, much love, light, and peace, and many blessings to you all. Kingdom people, that is my time. Jesus girl, she has to go now. I am out. Peace.